The infamous headless horseman has nothing on a vengeful rattlesnake. In a video posted earlier this month, a man can be seen trying to handle a headless rattlesnake in the back of a pickup truck in Coosa County, Alabama. The video filmed by Carrie Forbes shows her husband, Billy Forbes, trying to get the snake's body out the bed of the truck. Carrie had posted the video in the comments section of a WSFA post about another man who suffered serious injuries after he was bitten by a severed snake head. According to his wife, Billy had been plowing in his garden when he saw the snake on his fence. He asked Carrie to bring him a shotgun and then he proceeded to shoot the reptile's head off. Share this article share leaving it alone for an hour, he then decided to use a grabber tool to move the snake to his truck so that he could take it to his brother's house. While he put it in the truck, the snake didn't move, Carrie asserted. Filming began once the couple got to their brother's house and Billy attempted to transport it. Billy and the snake go toe to toe for what feels like a long time but is only a little over a minute. It's still strong too, Billy's said in shock as he tries to grab onto it. At the last possible moment, the snake lunges at Billy who manages to move at the right second. The movement spooked Billy enough that he had to come back to it later to remove it. According to Adam Kooner, a veterinarian at the Alabama Medical Center in Anniston, snakes have spinal reflex arcs that they rely on more than brain simulation. He added, throughout the spinal cord, there are sites which control movement so the spinal cord can function, to a degree, autonomously from the brain. That explains why the rattlesnake in the video is still writhing and moving despite the head being in less than ideal condition. The strike is likely a reflexive response to continued pestering by the man with the tongs, Billy Forbes. The spinal regular nerves sense the direction the prodding is coming from, but despite how it appears the body doesn't know it's striking a man. Tyler Harris, the animal care coordinator of the Alabama Wildlife Federation described how snakes tend to act in a defensive manner when attacking humans. The closer you get to a snake, the greater your chances are of being bitten, she said. If you stay away, you're safe. It's that simple.